Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel. I know it's been quite a few weeks since I last published a video on the channel. I'm sorry about that, but now I am back with um, a new video and I'm going to publish uh, quite a few uh, more videos now over the uh, next couple of um, weeks because I've got some very interesting stuff going on. Uh, so for this first video, since I guess you could say my return, it's been over a month, almost two months, since I last made a video, and quite a few things have happened in my watch uh, collection and in terms of what I um, look out for and what I want to purchase. So now over the past couple of weeks, I've been getting very interested in uh, vintage watches. And so I've bought um, a couple of uh, vintage watches that I'm going to be publishing some videos on now over the next couple of weeks. Now this is a super duper cool watch that I just had to buy. Um, it was very cheap. I paid just around 50 US dollars for this watch. Um, it's not perfect, it does need some work, but in terms of the, um, the uh, condition, in terms of the physical appearance of um, the watch, it's in a fantastic uh, condition. Just look at this thing. The crisp lines here are just gorgeous. Um, the polish work, fantastic. And the crystal, it does have a few scratches, but it's definitely not too bad. And it works. So this is an Olma Sport. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have not heard of the brand Olma uh, before, but they are a Swiss made brand, or they were. They do still exist, but it's not the same thing. It's some um, Hong Kong based company that have bought the uh, brand name, but this, this is the real deal. So I don't know a whole lot about this watch other than that when I saw it, I just had to purchase it. So it looks to me like it's some sort of a 70s piece. Um, it's, it gives off a very uh, summery vibe to it. The condition of the case, just fantastic. I love these uh, lugs uh, with the sharp edge and the uh, line going here across the case and the beautiful polishing there. Um, really quite well made, this watch. A screw down case back. I don't know which uh, movement you have inside of this watch, um, but it's a manual wound uh, Inca Block 17 jewel movement, so it's a pretty basic movement. Nothing too special, but it works and it works beautifully. It's beautiful, this watch, I do have to say. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the Olma Sport. This is the side profile of the watch. We got that nice acrylic uh, crystal there. Beautiful distortions. And the dial is just fantastic. So you have what looks to me like some sort of a linen uh, dial. Kind of like what you would see on some older uh, Datejust models. It's, it looks fantastic. You have simple brand name, Sport 17 Jewels Inca Block. And... Um, nice frame around the date window and a gorgeous color scheme of silver and blue and on this strap it just works perfectly just look at the combination here this is a gorgeous watch in a fantastic condition i love these um, indices here they are as you can see applied and you have, at the end there, they are raised up and they have been painted blue to match the color scheme. You have basic hands that kind of look like um, a Datejust handset, but with the blue details. And as I said before, it's a hand wound uh, watch. And uh, in terms of the dimensions here, this is a square watch pretty much so we will just have to measure from one end to the other I suppose it's just around 34 millimeters 
in diameter. In terms of its lug to lug distance, it's just 36 to 37. And in terms of the watch's thickness, it's 10.2. So a very modestly sized watch, but a size that I think just looks super duper cool. So let's put the watch on my wrist and I'll show you how it wears. Okay then, and here is the watch on my 19.5 centimeter wrist. I have to say this is a super duper comfortable watch and I just love the proportions of it. I love the case size. I love the look of this watch. It just looks so... Uh, so 70s really and I just I don't know why but for some reason I have been getting very very interested in these types of watches in these types of uh, vintage watches and so I'm probably going to be purchasing more of these watches in terms of this style of design um, I love it. it looks beautiful so that's the Olma Sport with the blue and the silver uh, color scheme in really great condition. Um, the only thing that's a bit uh, wrong with it, I guess you could say, is the seconds hand does every so often get stuck. So the movement does need some, uh, I guess the movement would need some sort of a service soon. And um, given the fact that this watch just looks so fantastic, and is in great condition otherwise, I think it really does um, deserve that service. So I'm definitely going to do that after the new year. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do feel free to um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, please do comment down below what you think about this watch in the comment section. And um, thanks again and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye-bye.